Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Kevin Davis. This is music, love, life. Oh, you changed it up this time. Yeah, I said this I instead of we. <laughs> cool. Was that a, a jarring difference? Did it was. That, I was you shook. <laughs> you shook me up a little bit, but I'm back. I'm glad you rebound quickly. Hello. Okay, yeah, about Awkward silence. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. All right, let me loosen up. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, we good. Anyone want to ask about my women's empowerment brunch no. on Sunday? No, not really. No. Well, I'll tell you about it anyway. It was called The Legacy of Beauty Why are brunch. you using the interview voice? Uh, because that's what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, the beautiful lady thing. That's It's called Legacy of Beauty, and it's about beauty entrepreneurs and women that are looking to leave a beautiful legacy f- for their families. No shit. How many women were beautiful there, though? Three See, or this, four. If you that's call not it beautiful, true. if you call it beautiful, you know they're all beautiful. It, no, it, like no, it. they're not all beautiful. If you call it the beautiful woman, I mean, what is seminar? What is this? I didn't call it beautiful. It's called Legacy of Beauty. But I keep what, hearing it different. What is <laughs> what <laughs> what what makes someone beautiful? I mean, according to whose standard? I mean, there's different standards. So, so there's traditional beauty. Right. There's a movie star handsome. Oh my God. <laughs> We're so blessed to have it right in front of and us. No, but but I think that there's traditional beauty. And a lot of times what the argument is is that that's counter to our culture. Because, you know, it's the skinny, blonde, white. The chick. one who's not beautiful is the one who only got compliments on the outfit. <laughs> well, there weren't any there was a there was a thin, beautiful blonde, wholesome like these, white chick. No, not blonde, but um, there were all types of women there. Were there white people there or no? A few. Okay, were they not supposed to come? No, they were welcome. It's about women. But, uh, okay, you're right. Yeah, everyone's welcome. <laughs> you're right, yeah, okay. It's welcoming. Yeah. We're welcoming all Where women. did you guys have it? We had it at uh, Universal Salons, a really nice uh, venue here in Atlanta, Georgia. Shouts out to Keela um, for uh, graciously hosting the event at her venue. Where is that? It's right, it's actually like... Two minutes from uh, Atlantic Station. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Really nice. You guys can go to my Instagram, at Enchanted PR, and see the video. We gave away beautiful trophies. And really, it was empowering. There was a lady there that um, two of the panelists... Trophies? We, yeah, we gave them beauty. Yeah, beauty trophies. For being... They're entrepreneurs. So it was a, it was a success- celebration of entrepreneurial success. So women who have, who have you know, faced the odds and overcome them. And uh, two of the panelists, one is head of hair for Tyler Perry Studios. The other actually has a very successful hair care line to help women grow back their edges, <laughs> among other things. She has all types of products, but that's one of the things that she has. And hey, way, to, way to come up with something that people really need. One time need. for well, baby hair. Right. Well, that no, is that, important because a lot, is, a lot of times... a lot of y'all yeah, it's not, have either fried... Died or, or laid them to the side. Pulled them out. Like, <laughs> man, well, the weaves are taking them off. out. Burned. Off. So see those 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 very immature jokes uh, that lots of women have to endure. Kaleidoscope hair products has a edge. It basically rejuvenates and gets your edges to grow back. Anyway, the the lady. How, so how does it, uh, is you just you just rub it on your edges? You they're drops, and you just put the drops on your. I should edges. sell them. Well, you can. I'm, you I'm, can. You can become a distributor. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm pretty sure. I you know what's that. good about that. Type of thing though I think that there's probably A lot of I don't want to say magic Because I know that y'all think Black girls are magical we But are magical. I think that when you have A lot of people that have Overcome odds and, Yeah You know what I'm saying When they get in the same room Yeah There's like an energy In that it room It was that's... I'm like so So one, the lady actually Invested in her years ago And like her last Penny And it helped her Start her own business And they And she didn't even Real, they didn't even, you know, they had been a part. This was years, years and years ago. So it was like a aha moment. It was very touching, but it was a lot of women that are, you know, single moms and don't think that they could start their own business. And, you know, hearing some of the stories of the panel, one of the, the lady that works at Tyler Perry Studios, Coco White, she said that her friends, um, while she would be on set with a, a celebrity, she had small children, so her friends would take turns. So one of them would keep, would, would 
fly out to wherever the, the, the job was and stay in the hotel and keep her children. And then when she got a job, they would do the same thing. So I was just was really encouraged and um, excited to hear women sharing their stories of, like you said, of struggle. You know, I was a yeah. single mom and, and started a business and that was definitely, did not seem like the opportune time to start a business. But, you know, you can always overcome. That's so. wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that a, a number of you were able to get together and yeah. swap stories. And yeah, stuff. well, hopefully we'll have more women. You guys can go to visit. The website is www.legacyofbeauty.co if you're interested in learning more about the organization. And we'll have some more events coming soon. You know what? You know, I never understood, like, socially, we always have to tell women that they're beautiful. And I never understood that. Well, I think beauty <laughs> speaks to the inside more so than the outside. Have you ever seen a girl that's like really pretty on the outside, but her attitude is very bad and oh, it yeah. makes her pretty seem- much all of them? I've dated a number of those. You, I'm sorry, you sound like you're ringing a bell. <laughs> a lot of pretty girls have that issue. Okay, so the point is, beauty is not. I don't think it's physical. I think it radiates from within. So I think if a person has a beautiful personality, you find reasons. No. I mean, socially, we always say, you're a beautiful girl. You don't have to do this. I know do what this. you mean, yeah. You're so beautiful. You know, why, why does her beauty have anything to do with whatever shit she's because going through? Because I think to little girls, we tell them it's more important that they be beautiful than smart. It's more important that they be physically appealing than it is that they be anything else. I don't tell my girls that. I, I As don't, a matter of fact, I think, I think it sends the message that if you're ugly, you deserve hardships. You know, you know I, I tell my girls? What, what is ugly? What with contour, makeup, and, and, and plastic surgery? Wake up next to them the next day. <laughs> you know what I tell my girls? Plenty of people got plastic surgery, still ugly. I don't think so. I Sometimes think with the right hairstyle. Absolutely. With Tony, right Braxton, hairstyle, Tony Braxton used to be amazing, and now she's... Mm. She's a beautiful woman. No, 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 no. Times have changed. Yeah, she got. She went too far on the surgery, the no, plastic. No, I don't think so. Yeah, she would have Maybe aged, she would have aged nicely. Have gone far I don't think Tony Braxton is that is that. She would have aged nicely. Have you seen her new single? No. F O H. Not even checking for it. Fuck out of here. It's dope. You're you're missing out. Is it? You're missing out. And you know, actually, you know what it is. You're missing out, Kevin. Here's here's another thing that makes someone ugly, or maybe I'll say unattractive. Okay, less beautiful. She chose Birdman. Come on, man. That doesn't have anything to do with her looks. Nah, that that definitely. I mean, maybe he loves her the right way. Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe he has a really good personality. Right. Yeah. Now I know guys. Maybe he has Little Wayne's money. Guys can be whole. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Guys can be unattractive But if they're really funny I kind of forget That they're unattractive You see Funny is an attractive quality Yeah And guys It overpowers An ugly face But girls can't be funny And no, make up for their attractiveness it doesn't work. Like, get, get out of here What about beautiful Clown What about Just have a very nurturing spirit <laughs> No, 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 no. Nurturing. No. What if they cook really good? No. Okay. No. She's, One still, of my friends, she's a good cook, and I would eat anything that come off the stove, but she still got One of my got friends told me that he's da- he was dating this girl, and she was unattractive, but because her sex was so good and her mm. food was so good, he, he, he forgot. He found himself in a relationship. And they, are, they been, are they still together? No, he okay. woke up soon. Yeah. I, he forgot. The, first, the prerequisite is attraction. Sorry. You if you're honest. if you're ugly, the prerequisite is attraction. So I love the millionaire matchmaker. Patty always says the penis does the picking. No. 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 That means mm-hmm. if you if she makes your penis move, mm-hmm. then no. 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 What What does that mean? Makes your penis move? Get up. It makes it get up. Come on, man. Nah, man. Depend on depend on how old you are. It may just get up on its deep. own. Well, depend, uh, depending on if you're over thirty five, that probably doesn't happen very often. I don't know. Depends. I do. You know. No, I'm just saying it's not your, like your it's dick just... stopped getting hard. When your your dick still getting hard? It stopped getting hard. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like you know, that's just not. It doesn't. The point is, if a, what are you it, watching? Thirty five year old dick prints. How do you know that they're no, not I don't getting watch up? The prints, but I did see a really funny meme that said, "Men, oh my gosh, I gotta I gotta pull it up because this is awesome. It's I have not. To share it's probably it. not. No, I have to share it. No, but honestly, I I will continue while you're looking. I will continue and, and say that that attraction is the first thing. It still is. It always it, has what, been. How is how, okay on a scale of one to ten? How important is it though? Well, there's a good like, enough. Like cut the pie up. No, no, there's good enough. There definitely is. But I think that's with everything in life. There's good enough, and once you're past good enough, <laughs> it's it's all equal. Yeah. So I mean, you know, all like right. if you're a, if you're a strong seven, we're good. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I think it depends on where you are in your life. Probably. Yeah. 
like in in my youth, there were definitely some women that I thought were pretty that I see now, and I'm like, oh yeah, absolutely not. But they may have changed. Their, did their looks change? They absolutely changed. Oh, their looks changed. Yeah. But no, we're talking about how important is our looks to you. I actually thought when I was younger, I was more critical. Like I, That's what I, I think. Yeah, yeah, I was more mm-hmm. critical then. Now I'm like, because yeah. uh, <laughs> you don't realize other stuff yeah. matters. It's like I just wanted to be cute, and it's like, oh, it's not just that other stuff matters. It's like you you start. You start changing. Right. You want to be excited about someone too. I don't. Yeah. You I have. To, I think mm-hmm. if you don't have puppy dog love at first, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like I know that puppy dog love is not important in the right. in the long run, but, it is but if you don't initially. have it at first, yeah, that sucks. It's not gonna work. I agree. She's not the one. Especially in, as an adult in this dating culture, when everything is so. When people are, are so casually using each other or just trying to feel, oh, this person has this and are I they? can get that. Yeah, it's, it's th- this more modern dating culture, I think, is very superficial. It is superficial because it's like and people just look at everyone like they're in yeah, a catalog. Yeah, so if you don't really like somebody, then I know me, I'm one of those. I, if I don't really like you, yeah. I'm not even going to keep pursuing. Gonna put forth the effort because I don't give a shit. Yeah, and, I, and, and then I think at a certain point, though, if you're not best friends or very close to it, then yeah. marriage is out of the question. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so this meme that I love right now says, so men say sundresses with no ass is a crime. Do you all think that's a crime? No, I like you're... slim chicks. Okay. It doesn't say slim, it said no ass. Yeah, but people who are slim don't have ass. Come on. The people yeah, do. Bullshit. The ones who are slim who have ass, they, they, didn't, they weren't born with it. Well, he was born and raised in Georgia, so I'm, I'm going to give him that. Slim chicks do not naturally, not normally. I'll, I'll say normally. <laughs> there are some slim chicks who are the anomaly, but for, for the most right. part, okay. slim chicks don't have ass. If you want to ass, you're going to have to get a little bit of weight with that ass. That's, true. That's just the way it goes. That's true. You're, you're a realist. But you're slim realist. chicks look nice in sundresses. I think that there's a, I think that there's, there's, it's a different look. Like right. with, a, with, with a, a thick girl in a sundress, it's like, you know what I'm saying, I almost, almost like no, my, I almost went there. You saw me. You saw I me. Did. You I saw me like, zoom in, right? Oh my god, he's he's experiencing it right, right. now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that sundresses actually look better on slim chicks because the the idea of what a sundress is—it's supposed mm-hmm. to be move flowy and yeah. you know what I'm saying. But you get the right one, oh, man. the right thick one in the sundress. S- skinny chick in a sundress look like that sundress. I didn't say skinny. Hanger. I said slim. <laughs> like I don't think you're skinny. You're slim. All right. Skin, skinny is whack. You know, I don't, I'm not saying a skinny chick in a sundress. Nobody wants to see a skinny chick in anything. But that's not even what this meme says. Y'all, oh, it, the, the meme says men, men say sundresses with no ass is a crime. Well, basketball shorts with no print is a fucking felony. Hilarious, ladies, right? Yep. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> what if he's a grower, not a shower? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, according to my research and development, um, the growers never quite reach the mountaintop. <laughs> I mean, it could be shocking because it could be like non-existent and then there's, okay, all right, now there's a little bit to work with, but it's never going to be, I mean, certain things just, it's only so far they can go, you know, they can disappear. It's like, how, how, how many bodies? Put that. I'm not going there. I'm saying because you always got this expertise, but you I'm just saying, all can you give us talk? We need to know the no, source. We're I'm checking not. the source. No, no, no. But we got to check the source. We share stories, and that's definitely one we share stories yeah, about. But, but, and but women it, it's talk only is a lot so of much. You know, you can't if you have a full if you have an anaconda, you can't hide it like in a makeup bag. <laughs> like it's not going to go in there. Like the whole thing is not going to just disappear. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. There's going to be some evidence. <laughs> Physics. Of that. Yes. Won't allow. No. So this grower, not a shower, shit. Honestly, I don't know though. It could be possible. Why would they even say that? Why would that be a name? Why I know would that be why. A label? I know why. I'm telling you because some things, some things look non-existent, and it's like, oh my god. And then it's like, oh, okay. See, nobody right. believes people when they say that. Nobody believes you when you say women that non-existent. do because they've seen it. Women have seen it. Other women out there will support me because we know. I just uh, I we don't know. believe we don't believe y'all. I can't well, believe that whatever. it'd be invisible. I, mean, <laughs> I can pull up. I can. You know what? When I come in next next week, I'm gonna bring some. I'm gonna bring some slides. I was in college with a guy. I was in college <laughs> some with a guy. Slides. I was in. Yep. There was a dude who was, who was in our dorm, and um, he 
you know how everybody, like, you're about to go play basketball or whatever. You might, you know what I'm saying, take off your shirt or whatever. You're changing. Right. And it may be other people in the room, but it's not like you're butt naked. But right. you may just grab your shorts or whatever real quick. Yes. This dude never. He always used to go in the bathroom <laughs> to change anything. T-shirt, <laughs> shirt, coat, shoes, he whatever. Was, yeah, he was insecure. He was always in the bathroom. No, it wasn't insecure. He had a reason to be. And I, I, was I'm, he I'm, transgender? No, it was worse. What? One day, we got caught well, I wasn't in the room. They oh, got caught. We g- they got caught. Hold on. I wasn't in the room. They got caught because I'm not incriminating myself. They got caught with weed in the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right, And right. they made all of us, I mean them, go out in the hall and line up. <laughs> and because they couldn't find it, but they could smell it, they made everybody take off their clothes. So they had everybody had to come back in the room. Oh, my God. And what? No, it was, it was really bad. Oh, that's was, for weed? It was really, it was really, that really bad. That is a horrible story. It was really, really bad. And this particular guy did not have a dick. What do you mean? Like a Ken doll. He did not have a dick. There was a space. There was a place for a dick, but there was no dick there. It had to be one. He had to use the bathroom. I don't know. It may have just been like a hole that fell out of or something. Well, like a urethra, that, like a woman's urethra. In that, in that's that song. That's not where I thought that story was going. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was. Shit, I, I, had I didn't see that. that. I, you know, I, I, and I, bet I understood you, why I he went to the bathroom. You, I bet you, just like we were talking about the little dicky. Um, Chris Brown, Freaky Friday. But you know, hold on, but you know, fun. now that I think about it, though, that's cruel, though. What? That they told us that. Who told you the that? The RAs and the, and the cops. Like, uh, that's cruel that oh, they... Oh, they told you all? Well, I mean, we I didn't all get this. saw it. No, we're not looking at... Every, okay, I'm sorry. Let me explain. <laughs> they did not take us in the room all together. Uh-huh. They made us go in one... They didn't, like, oh, make us all okay. get butt naked like together a, and, and rub all, on each yeah. other. You know, it wasn't nothing there. <laughs> no, I just thought it was a lot. You guys had to line up and everybody Well, was no, like, we were lined up in the hall. Okay. They made us go back in and... and, and Separately. Right. Oof. But that's 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 so cruel. Why would they tell everybody that? That's because I was a puss-ass officer, man. How you that's not The officer or R. Because RA is like Well the RA a is the person who told us Yeah But the officer was laughing Yeah that's not cool That's was not a yeah. black officer? Uh, I can't remember I think so I can't remember That's not cool I can't remember Yeah that's not cool But it, it happens It happens What? Some situations that look non-existent That's all I'm going to say But like that But see he had a, he had a deformity These? What you're talking about is a, a regular functioning thing Right But non-existent is like how big? I mean, it looks like it's not there. It's just, it's, it looks <laughs> like a button. I can't believe that. I, I'm sorry. I just can't it believe it. It looks like a button. I can't believe that. that's, that's Well, I'm not. I mean, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm just saying is, that we you've all actually have seen there, Is yeah. there a charity for that? Is there like locks no, of love that you there, can donate? No, dick? because it's more it's more popular than we would like to acknowledge. And wow. you know, it's not. I don't think it's that popular. If you're like four, if you're like four eight or four seven or something, you can go to school for free. Did you know that? First of all, yeah. Well, I was gonna say because height has nothing to do with this. No, no, I'm saying. But what yeah. if they had like a, some kind of thing where you could go to school or get groceries free or something if your dick was too no, small? No, but what the guys do is do is just overcompensate. By fighting a lot? By making a lot of money. Oh. Mm. Yeah. That hey. wouldn't make me happy. If I had a little dick and, and a lot of money, I would it not be happy. because you get a girl. There's a lot of... Yeah. I don't want a girl if I can't even get to her. I mean, you can get to her. You just may not be able to stay put. Anyway, What position do not, you have to... Uh, I t- you can always... I mean, <laughs> hell, look at Trump. About. Look at Trump. We know he's... Stormy Daniels is doing. Well, I don't necessarily talk. believe her. We just got to talk. I don't. Why I don't not? necessarily believe her because I think. See, that's. I don't think that's fair. I think that when a girl is mad at a guy, that's like something hands. that comes. That that has nothing to do with it. We can honestly say that hands, <laughs> feet, height has nothing to do with it, or nothing. race. Or race. It's all a dirty what? lie. What? Oh, my God. No, I can't race has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I know. I know we wish, really? to, I know we wish to hold really? on to these, to, these, to these myths, these urban myths, but it's not true. Race, trust me. Yeah. I, there are some if-then-why <laughs> situations that are... I don't know what that means. I mean, it's just like... That was an engineering thing. Was, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it had some, like, the letters meant If something. this happens, then something Got else. It. Blah, blah, blah. But it did not, right. Okay, yeah. gotcha. No. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm. Speaking of Stormy Daniels, so did you guys see the, the interview? I have no idea Absolutely who's Absolutely not. Is. Okay, well... Well, you sound like Robin Leach. <laughs> <laughs> he slips into that from time to time. It, it felt like it was proper at the you, time. Do you remember when this dude said zebra? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to bring that back. <laughs> zebra, yes. No, no. Zebra. Okay, no. Stormy Daniels, I'm no, sorry. No, yeah, I, I, that was, it was an infuriating <laughs> episode because I was just like, are you kidding me right now? No, oh so... Okay, so she goes on and talks and she does 60 Minutes with Anderson Cooper. Oh, Okay. And every, it seems like everybody, you know, a lot of people watch the interview. I don't, 
don't understand, first of all, why we're still interested in knowing. I think that Congress is trying, I think they're trying to come up with some reason to, to impeach it's Trump. It's not going to happen. But I mean, in my opinion, and, and you guys can tell me if you disagree, I don't think that has, I think it's almost like a wag the dog. Like, why are we focused on him and Stormy Daniels? What about Russia? What about the, I mean, I mean, why are we, why is this what we're focused on because with sex the Trump is era? Because juicier. There's I'm, lots of I'm gossip. over it though. I'm just None of us over it. It's embarrassing. I don't care. I don't think any I don't think anybody I know I know no one at this table is interested, but I don't think no. anyone's interested, period. I think that if a, if you pay a woman to have sex with you and she was a porn star and nothing against porn stars, I think everyone has the right to do what they want. But you don't. a pro I do think that. Everyone doesn't have the right to do what they go ahead. Just, I think if you if you have a, a if you have genitalia and you want to be you want to take funds for the use of your genitalia, that's within your right. I don't think that should be illegal. But you think prostitution should be illegal? I don't think prostitution should be illegal. I think people should be able to sell their body if they want to. But make that pussy pop. <sighs> Must you do the sound effects every time? <laughs> but <laughs> but I do think that I think honestly, if you pay someone and you go to court and you get signed documents that say, because I've received X amount of dollars, I will not share this information. I don't think you should be able to share it. Right. That That's should, not right. What's the point of having an NDA? What is the point of going to court and, and doing that? And I mean, she was stupid for taking only $130,000 from Donald Trump. Well, yeah, he overpaid her by $129,875 right. <laughs> by my calculation. Her, no, exactly. no, he did not pay her to have sex. He, he paid her, her not to talk. That, it cost that much to keep her big ass mouth closed? They First didn't even of all, work. Trump, have you seen Donald Trump? Yeah. I would not, that takes, that would have taken a lot of money just to What if he has a good sense of humor? It doesn't have anything to do with sex. That has it, nothing to do with could sex. Could Donald Trump buy your sex for one hundred and thirty thousand dollars? I mean, according to Donald wait, Trump, you wait, didn't want we just more. have this conversation? We, we did. But that wait, was not that, that number was is not, not big enough. I, I think that was, so on a, a Thursday. Million. It's a Thursday in March. Like, like this. Is a, what like, Thursday in March? Like the day right? after tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Like what Thursday in March did you get one hundred thirty thousand dollars for anything? Yeah, but I'm just saying with Donald Trump, you know that there's much more money there. So I would just play hardball. Wow. So I would about, go in for that's, that, that's in gold for diggers. Why? When you know somebody's going to do it for cheaper. Care. You, Who cares if that's gold digger? And, uh -huh. okay. Name a Thursday, you've made $130,000. What? Name a Thursday, I've ever slept with anyone that resembled Donald Trump. Never. Yeah, she's a porn not star. not what I'm so into. $130,000, she thought she was cashing out. Really. No, she didn't. That's the most she's she ever got stupid. for a lady. She was She might have been in hard times. She should have had a, a friend to advise her. Girl. This is worth, worth, and it was right before he ran for office. How much? So, is, how much is pussy worth now? Hundred forty dollars. Let me check the NASDAQ. The actual kitty cat is actually the shut up. That's two different. That's things. too expensive. Come on, that's that's uh, that's, that's unreasonable. That's, that's, that's included unreasonable in the amount. fees. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it right. For, I'm gonna make it real for you guys. Okay. okay. Oprah, Oprah comes over, gives you a blowjob. Okay. And it's a very. It's like it's like the grapefruit one. Right? Oh, God. <laughs> and then she says, okay. I don't want you to tell anybody about this. Don't worry. If you give me that, Oprah, if you <laughs> give me that, Oprah, I'm not telling anybody because I want you to come back and do that again. <laughs> but what does she say? We got a whole bunch of other fruits to try. We start with great food. We get all the way to the so mango. The Kevin, if she wants you not to tell anybody, it's a, it's a arousing performance. But mm. Oprah, you know how much money oh you know how much Oprah's worth. She says Why do we think like that? How much do I have to how much do you need to keep this between you and I? Let me tell you where you're what wrong you wrong before for? Kevin even answers. Guys don't think like that. We like don't tell Kevin. guys think how much would I do this for? <laughs> Women think how much can I get out of them? What is my worth my time? Right. I like know. I wasn't gonna be doing shit else today. Right. <laughs> well, if I got a grapefruit too. It's not about that. This is about to keep your mouth okay, shut. Now ask him the question. Okay, but so she wants you to keep your mouth shut. Every time she does an interview, she's with Stedman, they're going to the Oscars. She does not want you to mention that this happened. How much money do you need to in order to keep your mouth shut? Fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and that's I before taxes. <laughs> you know I didn't need to take care of some little shit. You know, I, I, got, <laughs> I want to put a fence around the backyard. You know what I'm saying? Know. Like, that's how guys think. Well, I'm not joking either. Oh my God. There's no reason said, to be greedy. Right. I mean, she did a good job. Well, fair market value. You know, <laughs> right. Tip. Like, shit, I mean, I'm a, I'm a height, but right. I ain't. Right. You know. So you would, sign a, you would sign an NDA from Oprah. Please. You know how many dicks Oprah could suck if she wanted to? <laughs> right. She could choose. A dick. 
I'm not saying that she couldn't. I'm hey just man, saying I'm it's about the power. Going. I'm starting a, in low. <laughs> it's about the power. I'm starting low. I want to be a regular client. Right. You she come with 15 every time. Hey, first one free. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. <laughs> she be fucking around and give you a $1,500 tip. $1,500 and a $1,500 tip. Okay. Okay, I'll flip this around. This okay. is obviously it's not working. It's not. Okay, all right. all right. Roseanne Barr. Okay. All right. Roseanne Barr wants you to come over and eat her out. Okay. How much does that cost for you to do that and keep it to yourself? Um. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. No. No. Honey Boo Boo. Who? Honey Boo Boo. Why you keep changing people? I'm trying to figure this out to make it to make it Donald Trump equivalent because Oprah is not Donald Trump. Who the fuck is Honey Boo Boo? Okay, it's the lady that was on. Should we pull her up? I thought that was a kid. It is her mother. Oh, Honey Boo Boo's mom. Honey Boo Boo's mom. Remember, I don't just, just imagine. Okay, trailer. she's just yeah. ugly person, uh, d- disgusting <laughs> person. Monique. <laughs> oh shit We've already talked bad about her <laughs> Okay Monique wants you to yeah. come over <laughs> Kevin's number is good 1500 yeah. Y'all are cheap That's not ex- That's expensive Hey man look All I need to do is fix my power <laughs> steering Right And put some new brakes on <laughs> I'm gonna stick the rest in the bank. I gotta throw some free on in the AC. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what if, I got a, what if a Monique hole was on a patch. billionaire? I wanted to get a new huh? grill for what the backyard. What if Monique was a billionaire? You are you are valuing this based upon who the person is. That's yes. what's wrong. Yes, we that's, are. That's the problem, woman's. <laughs> Women's No women's Cause it's you But it's all of you <laughs> And then furthermore yeah. hold, Cause y'all always Want to go tell the shit later A dude's gonna be like Okay one Either ain't nobody Gonna believe me <laughs> Or She won't do it again Yeah <laughs> uh, Well that's why We're different I'm, You don't want Cause, cause you, there's, no respect in line money, on, there's no respect In line on you She shouldn't have Got more money She, she should have Shut got, the fuck no, up She should have Got more money I don't think She should have Told but I think She should I think She should Negotiate a, a, a larger Price Her point is That she wasn't Trying to get Money but mm, That's kind of Stupid when You got 130,000 You should have Just got the Whole million yeah, what? that's a lot more money. I know she should have gotten it. Her she pussy, wouldn't have got a million. Though. Her pussy, her throat is not worth that. Her throat did not. It's say not anything. about. It's about her, her shutting up. That's what I'm saying. Her throat. No, you were talking about her throat for I other reasons. Not. Yes, See, you are. I was not. You're her, talking about her throat as she far as being a passageway to pleasure, a, pa- no. a tunnel to pleasure. That's not. You know what? I don't even think porn stars can fuck that good. They probably suck. They be faking know. it anyway. They just make all oh the noises God, yeah. and shit for the camera. I well, saw one one time. It was a behind the you scene. All that it's, it's real. It's, not it's a fantasy. We know that. That's why we like the amateur stuff better. Oh, the amateur stuff is not. They don't have. They're not airbrushed, and they are all we don't right. We, give we, a shit I don't about airbrush. airbrush women. We like burn marks. No stretch marks. I like stretch marks. I, I mean, I don't dislike yes. them. I mean, I don't. I don't like them. Burn. Like I Who's about burn? The burn. <laughs> yes, I, was, I saw uh, it was a girl on Instagram that had burn marks on that on her ass, and she said, "I sat." So what, for those of you comb? who don't know, I sat on the curling iron. Yeah. I said, "That's a real ass." So if you like if your woman got became a burn victim, like third degree, you're staying with her. Yeah. You wouldn't stay with your lady? I mean, I'd stay with you her. You wouldn't stay with your woman she I was, was a burn victim? I would stay with her like... I know your woman ain't burned herself already. No, no. I'm no, talking about he's like, talking about, about like, it looks like Where you that. get melted. Where you get oh, melted. Oh, man. That's I, rough. It would be in that back room like the uncle, the crazy uncle. You're so mean. You feed him. I'll still, I, I keep her here at the house. I'm not going to lie. I would have a, I would, like I how, would have a really hard time. You, you mean just yeah. whole, whole yeah. face? Yeah. Like the acid look? Yeah. That's tough, I ain't going to lie. I would... I would. What? Oh. Mouth still working. That is ridiculous. Okay, it, but I don't the, think the I would want to be intimate. Yeah, yeah. I, don't wanna, don't I wouldn't want to be intimate anymore. I hate that. You're so That's shallow. See, you are. I Whatever too, you though. were talking about, <laughs> putting her in the back room. Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep her in the house. See, She's not. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna the take only care one of her. With real love here. Black how, love. Okay. How many pounds <laughs> could your significant other gain before you'd be like, hey? Pounds are pounds are I'm different this. by the by the body type. So that's true. You can't really say that. That's true. I think that there's a there's a point where it becomes uncomfortable when your neck disappears. You know what I'm saying? Respucia like. Whoa, yeah, no, nah, that's too far. Much, yeah. yeah, that's too far. <laughs> what did you? What would you do? I wouldn't. I mean, start. people start at a. You mean like they had a thyroid issue or something? Actually, no, yeah, I like, like my girl's BBW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a big, big. Suck you dry. Eat some lunch with you. Yeah, but that's Drake doesn't like that. He likes girls that are aesthetically hey. enhanced like by Red surgical. Man. I'll be that. I'll be that. <laughs> oh yeah, that video was hilarious. Would you? What if she was? What size of the girls in the Red Man video? No, nah, I'm good. What are you going to do? I mean, that's not that's my your preference. Woman, but that, that's your wife. So Back she just room. gains. 
<laughs> that crew that mug. I was like, no, some, I would like some Reese's pieces and some like. You seriously snacks would on the not floor, have sex? Leading back to that mug and have a lock. <laughs> put the lock on you that mug. You seriously would stop having sex? Uh, no, he would find an elbow and work it out. Uh, I guarantee he put it in the crevice right uh, here. But that's not sex. That's you got you got a lot more distance to go with a girl like that. You got to you got to really really deep dive. Uh, he would find a hole. I was thinking with a guy like I mean, what is the hang time like? I mean, depending on That's what I'm saying. You got to you got to be a Dirt Diggler. Substantial. Yes. Substantial girl. Like, I'm in there, right? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in there now? Like, uh uh-uh. <laughs> Keep pushing. I, if you, I think if you got this. the axe, just just go with it. Just <laughs> it was warm. Right. <laughs> it was warm. Just warm and wet. Good. Just keep going. Oh, but I don't know. I would just, you know, I, I said I would really I remember when I was married and I I, w- I would my ex started gaining weight. I was just like, oh, oh. Ah, uh, we got to fix this. Let's both just work out. And I and I and when I would gain weight, I wouldn't want to be physical either. I'd be like, yeah, let's just do it. Like you turn down. yourself off. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't want to do sucks. this. That this is unfortunate. Sucks. Yeah. But um it, it happens, but you know, I don't, back room. That's why you got to got to have more than one bedroom. Got to, you know what I'm saying? No, Keep but you I mean, an extra bedroom. Person, I mean, I, but I know a lot of men that really like divorce their women because they gain weight. Yeah, trade them in. You don't keep your car forever, do you? I think we've agreed that you know. I didn't agree. Mileage on cars and I didn't. I didn't. Women. Agree. That's. I didn't. I didn't. Mileage agree. on vaginas. Those. Those I didn't correlate. Agree. I didn't agree. I think we agreed on that. No, we did. You, turn, you can't turn in vagina for one with lower mileage. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't trade it in for something. You can. No, you can't. You it, totally can. It's probably upside down in value though. Well, yeah, you can't. You like there's no upside down value in dick. What? How do we get there? How do, how do we get there? I was talking about the mileage on a car you know how? correlating to the mileage on a vagina, and, and now you want to talk about this. because Crystal's an antagonist. <laughs> she just said that because I said it. Right. No, I didn't. I said because it's true. It's true. Like, it's they like, don't work the same after a certain age. <sighs> they don't. That's y'all why they got pills. That. Y'all be like, he They're got damn- 20 kids, but I love him. I don't. <laughs> That's why they got pills, though. What can you? What pill can you take to make that thing? There is a pill to make it to make a vagina more wet. There is. Oh, to make it more wet, but how, but that, you it, like that, don't you? N- not necessarily. Yes, you too do. wet it's is not great. Liquor. No, it isn't. But I'm talking about to make that mug. S- <laughs> well, you can get a surgery. See, vaginal too, too rejuvenation. Much work. I can just pop a pill all night long. And no, but then can you can you follow that it? Lionel Richie, huh? Can you follow it? Now it's up, but you're not. I mean, just your cardio do what is you got to do. Not keeping up with your penis. <laughs> do what you got to do. I'll take a nap. I don't do what even want to go here. This is not. A, this is We're not about Donald Trump. I, yeah. Why, I didn't why is go it here. that now everybody hates Donald Trump? But I remember when the '90s, when everybody was shouting him out in the songs. He was the guy to be. Like, yeah, because he was supposed to be this this very rich, wealthy guy. Kevin, did you ever say Donald Trump in one of your songs ever? I bet you did. <laughs> no. I bet you did. No. He's like bald and Find like it. Trump. Find you would surprise me. Like I swear to God. Everybody used to say that. Everybody just say that, and now everybody hates him. I don't get it. You guys are so sometimey. Well, he had a lot to do. I mean, he he worked very he hasn't diligently. Changed shit. He did work Trump very hasn't diligently changed to, ch- to shit. get people to hate him. No, he hasn't changed yes, he has. a damn thing. I, no, he he didn't. I was wondering where you were going with it. I was like, he worked very what? No, diligently <laughs> to get people to hate him. Okay, like he's okay. he's gone <laughs> over and above the call of duty. My work. Did you Trump. not? Had you never seen The Apprentice or any of that stuff? Well, he fired, but that was just fun. This is this is fun too. That's what y'all are missing. This is not real. This is fun. I don't know about him calling like countries like Haiti like uh, disgusting places. I don't know if we knew that he thought that. I didn't really care. He upped but... his game because the game went up. Oh, that's a cool line. He was telling me he was talking about apprentice shit about you know because that's the level he was on. But now he's yeah. on a, a bigger scale. It's the same jokes. It's just now he's using. I mean, it is because you remember. You guys remember when he went after Roseanne Barr, like exactly. with everything in it, yeah. and Rosie O'Donnell. I think Roseanne is back on the air. I don't think. I that's swear, why. I think. Roseanne oh yeah, I heard they're rebooting. Came back there. on tonight. Tonight it actually came back mm, on tonight. Not was watch the first it. night. I am gonna watch it. That show was really good in a disgustingly weird, sarcastic humor way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I love her comedy, and I, yeah. I, I, I know she's but, got some But her jobs. and John Goodman were great together. So yeah. I don't know if he's a part of this new cast. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, but they were. Oh, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah, they were really good together. He's a really good actor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, so that I'm was gonna check fun, it out. That's, and you know what? I realize a lot of my comedy mm-hmm. oh. is in the <laughs> well from <laughs> like because I grew up watching Roseanne. Right. I grew up watching. Um, Married with children. Yeah, I love that. 
Absolutely not. Oh. That would be out of his whole tap. Dark, oh, right. sarcastic. That's yeah. That, I'm sorry. No, Mary with Children. Shit Mary with Children was the best comedy on TV. Like it was so Especially awesome. Especially for talking about fat women. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. He he was horrible. No, he was like, great. Al Bundy? Yeah, no, mm-hmm. yo, I know. I, I thought I wanted I'd to be I'd wear a no Bundy. ma'am shirt right now. I swear to God. <laughs> no ma'am. Send me one. <laughs> Send me a no ma'am he shirt. It's like as she grazed across the way. Like, <laughs> we should do like that. That would be like the funniest, the funniest night to like do a, a Married with Children marathon. He did have more fat women jokes than any other. <laughs> I have a friend that has like the best fat girl jokes Tell ever. Tell us one. Well, <laughs> I, remember, I remember he worked for Subway. This was the funniest thing. And he just he just had a problem with fat women because he was really skinny, right? He was really skinny. So he said that fat and girls... And he saw the worst of them. He in, said that he said that fat girls would, would be hateful to him. So he just had a, a, a... He was obsessed with making fun of them. Oh, that so spite. The he spite. spite. Yeah, he said, oh, he said they're the mean, best. they're hateful, they're always, but they're always jolly when there's food around. So he was <laughs> in Subway, and Subway closes at 10 o'clock. I'll never forget this, because I almost cried on the phone. So he was ready to go home. He was, I'm finished making sandwiches. And these fat chicks come in, and... <laughs> He says they're ordering, they're looking at the menu, and he's like, what do you want? Like, you know, okay, we're looking at the clock, and they're just sitting back there looking at all the different choices. <laughs> he said, the white girl said she wanted a feast. Now, it's a sandwich called a feast. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he was like this... It is hilarious. He was like, this yeah. big bitch ordered a <laughs> feast. Of course, he was like, he said, he started pulling all the various meats together. <laughs> he was like, I should have known she wanted a feast. Feast is a bunch of different meats it's together? It's a lot of, it's like pepperoni, ham, <sighs> all, everything. He was like. Hey, B, you, you still think women, comedians? No, they here? suck. <laughs> get y'all. It was hilarious. <laughs> I wish I could get him to tell us one on the show. Oh, my God. Every time he would. He and he, so he has a joke about like a cooking arm, like a woman that you know the, the that have the fat hanging down. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, it's it's called a cooking arm. I mean, she she whips up the biscuits and anyway, that's not a hand clapper. That's a knee slapper. <laughs> that's an awful. Anyway, joke. had to be I'm there. Telling, <laughs> him, be there. <laughs> telling the jokes is funny. I got the gist him. of it. <laughs> the I first chuckle. Ten minutes. I got it. The first ten minutes. Right. Whatever. The long, she I'm said not a, feast. The I'm not a comedian, slash though. Story. Yeah. No, I'm not a comedian, but Kevin said You're a was. woman. Of course I, you're not. Whatever. Or a rapper, right? Well, you know what? I will have you know that that discussion spurned a lot of comments, and people said that there were amazing female rappers. And nobody gone. knows who they are, right? They're underground. <laughs> Anyway, I but I can't wait to see Roxanne Roxanne on Netflix. I for some reason I haven't watched it yet. I watched it. I well, I'll wait until you watch it for okay. us to talk about. You it. You watched it too? I haven't seen it yet. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I want to though. So yeah. Well, let's see what you think after <laughs> that. You know what I did see this weekend though? The March for Our Lives. Know what that? Know that, what that? You, you, you don't know. What oh that yeah 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 yeah. I oh. I didn't pay attention to it. Before. All right, that was the the children's march into the streets to protest gun violence. Oh my it, goodness! It was literally, <laughs> it it was literally a Michael Jackson video come to life. Atlanta had a lot of support. I couldn't get to my event on time because the streets were overrun. With, yeah, it was a lot of support. Good. Yeah, it was thick. Okay, so there was a march uh, away from school. It was on the weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. That would mean away from no school. school. Yeah. Well, no. The reason why I asked that is because my daughter came home and said that you know she was going to protest with the, the rest of her school, and I forbade her. I told her no way. I yeah. said the reason why I did is because I asked her like, "What are you? What is the? What are you pr- protesting? What's the point of it? What's the goal? Uh, I don't know. I just bring awareness. I'm like, that's not a goal. That's a dream. Well, like, she wanted to be a part, but but be was, a part of what though, dude? It was a Michael Jackson. Like you remember black and uh, I can't even talk black, black and or white. white. Yeah, you remember that? All races holding hands and mm. shit. Like, I did swear you go God, out there? No, I didn't. I, I oh. just watched it. On. You were speaking about I wasn't it like going, you were No, there. I'm not going down in there a protest rally because nobody got guns. I, Why I are they my, supposed to? No, because everybody knows you ain't got guns. That's a perfect place to get shot. Yeah. I want my gun. I, want, my gun is here, and I, I'm going to use it if I need to, and I want to have that ability. <laughs> and, I mean, that's why I told her not to do it. She did it anyway. Good for her. No, no, she did it. At, but she thought she proved me. Well, see, I asked her to just find out what the goal was. 
Right. So that she, so that she would actually have yeah, a like purpose. what's the I purpose? mean the goal of any protest is to cause a disturbance. To send well, a message and cause a disturbance. No, but you, there should no there should be a goal. So there should be something no, that you're, no, you're not going to accomplish you asking anything. For? This, then, 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 it's then, not like this is this isn't like uh you trying to get Mr. Clark out of jail. This is not Then one why of those. are you Mr. then why are Clark? you my daughter doing it? That's where my question was. <laughs> lean on me. That no, was I'm it. aware. I, I'm aware of lean on me. The rest I don't think you should be a part of a protest. Unless you understand what the purpose of it is. No, I agree, but but I mean, maybe she would would go down and, and learn. Maybe well, what she came that. back with was that it was awareness about uh, safety in schools, but yeah. that's not what that that that's not a that's a dream. That's not a goal. A goal has to be measurable. Has to be realistic. Oh my gosh! He's, he's it in does. School smart goals. <laughs> no, but it does he, have to be. It needs to be a smart goal. <laughs> if you can't yeah, measure it, 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 if you can't you measure it, be able to repeat it. You have to be able to measure it. See if you've been successful. You have to be able to measure your goals. Otherwise, you're not going to be successful. So okay. So what do Unless you think? What do you think it? that we should do about? Because because initially you said that that it was less than a thousand people had been killed in school gun violence. And obviously that number is, is not as much as, as, as we thought, but it's still substantially more than a thousand people. So what would know. you suggest be done to make schools more safe? I mean, you have a, you have a young child in school still. Mm -hmm. So how do you, how, I mean, I would think you would, both of you guys do. So you still have a dog in the fight. You can't be unconcerned about it. I am concerned about it. However, I don't know that. I don't know that there's something you should do about it because it's, I don't think it's as rampant as it's being made to b believe that it is. For instance, when but we just in the group, no, more. you didn't prove it. For, for instance, in the group chat, you sent in a message about fourteen thousand kids killed in, in mass shootings, and I think that first of all we have to define exactly what it is. We can't; it can't be loose. It can't be general. It can't be a generalization. It needs to be exact. It has to be. So you sent in the group chat fourteen thousand kids have been killed in mass shootings, and that wasn't an unfair assessment. I probably, without without paying more attention to it, would have felt the same thing. Mm -hmm. However, what? It really ended up being was on the, the lawn of the Capitol, they put 14,000 shoes down. And those were to represent kids. Well, it's not really 14,000, it's 7,000 because it's a pair of shoes per kid. Right, right. The, the headline said 14,000 kids killed in mass shootings or whatever, but that's not accurately what it was. Right. 7,000 kids have been killed by gun violence. Now, that's including suicides. That's including uh, Lil' Jeb shot his, his cousin with no, a I rifle. I that was mass shooting. It was a mass I, shooting. It, nope, it wasn't mass shooting. It wasn't mass it shooting. So, it was so gun made... violence. And that includes all the thugs in Chicago. But even not mm. yes, and it's gun violence. Seven thousand kids. So does that that is include that is does that include Tamir Rice killed by a kid a cop? Yes, yes, it includes uh, police brutality. I want to I want to look that up and come back. Look I, look I, it up. I, 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 I did. I read the entire article, not well, just the headline. Is, okay, well I'm not going to take your word for it. Okay, I would like to read it. That's for myself. fine. Now yes, a lot of kids have died at the hands of a gun holder, but it is it we. There is an issue, and I think that you know. For instance, when we had the um, when we had the um, the snowstorm here in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have very much snow here right. all the time. Right. But the fact that we actually like had kids stuck on school buses proves that we needed to do something about it. It wasn't a mass number, but it was it was enough. To so make for twenty four hours in forty years. You're telling me that there, we need to make a, a, a systematic change because of 24 hours? I don't believe it wasn't that's 24, not a real thing. It's not thing. the point about 24 hours. People want to know. I think children are our most precious commodity. Nope. <laughs> children, children, children can't do shit. Well, okay. So I'm way more yeah, than grow up and become the future. Yeah, but what if they, but, but if they don't grow up and become that's the future? That's what we're protecting. Right, right, that's what right. we're protecting. Bullshit. Right, right now, future. I'm effective yeah. right now. I'm in the game right now. No. I am more important than my kid is right now. You are not. You are Bullshit. Not. I can't feed my kid. My kid dies. The point if is, I can't no, take care of my kid, my kid doesn't become but successful. why do most people get up and go to work? It's to take care of their children. So that's what I say when I mean children are our most precious commodity. As you, your home, your car, none of that is more important than your child. Your child is, is, is a part of my you. My child is so one people, of the most important things to me. When you say commodity, let's, be, let's, let's, let's either separate it or let's put it together. If we're talking about commodity, no. I am far more valuable than my kid is right now. Our, your most valuable commodity is what? Someone on paper. 
Yeah, we're talking about commodities. But I'm talking about she your, said com- she made it. She made it sterile by saying commodities. Okay, but I'm that's, saying that's your where, most okay. your most valuable commodity, not, not you okay. outside gotcha. of yourself. What no, is more important? No, my my most valuable commodity is my, my is my ability to go to work. I have to I have to nurture that. All right, what's second? Be, be honest. What's second. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you want me to say kids, so I'm going to say kid. No, I'm just saying outside of your ability to go to work, what would be more important? Kids, are, very, kids, important. kids are the most important. Most my kids are, are the most important agree. thing to me. Not commodity, though. I'm far okay. more valuable than my okay. kid. You're my house is more valuable semantics. than my kid right now. You're, you're arguing over semantics, but you know what I'm talking. What I'm saying. That's the most They're, valuable thing that we have, right? Most people, if they have children, their children are where their priorities are. It's the so most important thing to, to me. Know. It's not the most valuable thing to okay, me. Okay, the most important. Again, okay. that's semantics. <laughs> But that makes a difference to me. Okay. Sorry. Right. So important. I'm surgical sometimes. It, all the time. But <laughs> you, <laughs> most people, aside from perhaps you and, and yours, want to know that when their children are at school, they're safe. That's the whole reason that most of us are motivated to do whatever we do in life is to take care of our families. So... There's a need to, even if it's 7,000, if it's 5,000, it's too many. No, it's too, no. It is too many. No, 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 bullshit. My kid is more likely to die in a car wreck. It just is. That's way more important than guns. We need to do some legislation on, on, on speeding. We have. We and, have And it. there are, st- are speed, uh, uh, seatbelt regulations. People- and they still fucking die, huh? So you're telling me even if we put a systematic change in place where there's a speed limit and a certain age to drive and rules for this and rules for that, motherfuckers still die. Right now, I think I saw on the sign, 300 people have already died this year in Georgia. But from- you're not saying that you're going to be able to stop it. That's because the law doesn't... It, it, it might deter someone's behavior, right. but it doesn't... It's not a physical barrier to stop the event from happening. Right. And they also are not saying you cannot drive a car anymore. So tell me what you would like as far as guns go. What policy would you like? Because if you tell me no more guns, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. No, That's not going to yeah, happen. I, well, yeah, what I, policy I agree would you with say? that. Because one, I don't think that you're going to be able to take anybody's guns. Not mine. Right? No. You might be able to restrict the sale of future guns, but right. you're not, you're not going to come in somebody's People are not going to donate guns. their guns. Nah. Nobody. Their, or turn their guns back Nobody. in. Nobody. Nah, white folks been waiting on that one. <laughs> They've been waiting on the government to come and take my guns. <laughs> They're sitting behind the door ready right. to go. I have a right to bear arms. Right. Absolutely. Right. You don't want that right, though? Or do you do? I want See, that I think right, you but do. I want it regulated, though. And, I want and that's it what I'm saying. What way? How, how could we regulate that? I have a that? problem with the fact that there's not more... That is, it's too easy to get to get it to buy a gun. It's just way too easy. I think there needs to be age restrictions, and I think there needs to be an evaluation some way. I don't know how, but there needs to be some type of mental evaluation before you just sell a person with a mental disorder, a gun. I think, you know, you know what would be nice? If before you're able to purchase a gun, you have to demonstrate some level of being able to fight without one. Uh, no. Yeah, no. you need to know. take that's some type of self-defense I'm, class. I'm not into that. That's why, yeah. that's why you get a gun. I don't even... I, Fuck I'm fighting. so not mm. into that. No. Nah, I, I'm with because it. Because I want a gun to protect myself. So if I have a gun at my home, like I, I plan on having a ranch with a lot of land, Right. Bad, I mean, there could be all kinds of issues. So if I don't want to live around a lot of people. So if I'm on my property and someone comes on, I want to be able to defend myself. That I'm not going to be able to fight those people. I don't want to fight them. If they come to my house, but, I don't want to fight. And, and I think that's I part of the debate them. too because a, a rifle that you would use to kill a coyote that's trying to get at your cows or some shit is one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, an, an assault rifle is a totally different... I want different... to kill the person that would try to come to my house and rob me. Mm-hmm. Okay. The coy- the coy- the, I'm valid. not going to have cows, first of all. Not doing cows. Hey, whatever. The, Just so that you know. But the argument... <clears throat> excuse me. The argument Fat for girl, the... same thing. The argument for the AR is not to protect your home from an intruder. The, the argument for the AR is to protect yourself from... Corrupt government. Well, that's a whole nother issue. Because that's, I mean, I mean, that's the only only place that we're going to get an army the way we would actually have to fight. But that's what they've been saying the whole time. The NRA has been saying it the whole time. Like the reason why you can't limit me to a pistol it was, is AR-15 because you motherfuckers got to tanks. Be a military weapon. It's interesting that the person that has this outlook is a former veteran. That's just the interesting part. So you're telling me this. the reason why I feel this way is because I was in the military? I just think that your your outlook is colored by your experience. And I think that's a part of your experience where 
I, I'm not thinking of the government as being a, something I need to defend myself against. I'm not. I'm I mean, we've been of, talking about this shit really since Columbine. It has. That's when it really became... That, that story made national news because mm-hmm. it was something that they didn't expect privileged white ch- kids to, to do a, such a heinous They never expect privileged crime. white kids to do anything, and they do all the shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do the guns. They do the opioids. They do oh. all that shit. Well, I don't yes, know. Do. I, like I said, I mentioned Chicago. Chicago I mentioned Chicago. There's a lot of Chicago deaths, so that's yeah, not like all they don't white do Chicago people. violence. Yeah, that's but definitely not white kids. Crystal, do you really believe that there's nothing to fear from a government? Not your government, but just a like government, period? I, I that's not my that's not my thought process when I think about protecting myself. It's 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 end of, it's crime. It's it's crime. Yeah, I don't think about like maybe theoretical. I think down the line there are some things that I need to be weary of. Right. Right. But when I think about having to protect myself and my family, I'm thinking about niggas. Okay, so yeah, that, but that's what you use your daily driver for, right? So you got your daily driver that you, you know, ride around town in, but you got your convertible, whatever, that you have in the garage. You keep it, you know, candy, apple, red. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the AR. Like, those people on TV, that's silly. What I'm saying is, yes, you have a pistol that is your everyday thing. If somebody breaks in your house, you have your pistol. And didn't I see that somebody actually, like a group of people, took their AR-15s and went down to one of the protests where the kids were at? Yeah. Really? Well, I'm about yes. the kids. Oh, this time? During yes. this? Oh, wow. Yes. That's unfortunate. That, I was that's, like, that's, that that's sometimes crazy. you don't. You, well, I'm not going to. The, I'm not going to none of them protests. <laughs> what do they man. do? Just stand nah, there. No, they know you ain't got no weapons. You don't, don't have know. to prove that point. Like that's the wrong. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we get it. We know it's yeah, your right. But you know what? I, I'm gonna say and, and because when the Black Panthers <laughs> had weapons, the NRA quickly, quickly lobbied. Ronald Reagan passed that. Uh, law in California restricting the sale of guns. Right. At that point, if more black people start arming themselves, I'm willing to bet we'll get gun reform in no time. <sighs> yeah, I, I agree. There's, it's, in I no think time. there's definitely a racial, you know what I'm saying, element to it. Mm-hmm. The reason why it's gone this long is because the NRA is the one The only reason here. they like to see black folks with guns is when we're turning them on each other. Yeah, that's true. I, I can't argue that. I I can't argue that, but I I I just I, I even just, the teachers, the fact that they want to give teachers like that. I don't think that's realistic. That's the dumbest. Shit I don't ever think to that's me. realistic. I I think that that could cause more harm. Teachers have enough trying to keep up with a class of. I have a girlfriend that works at a school here in Atlanta, in an elementary school, and those kids are out of control. Like you they, they would definitely right they, they gonna get they a hold would of definitely gun. get a hold of the gun, and then there's gonna be a whole other situation. I would I would honestly be okay if they just put a real big fence around schools, like a prison. I mean, if you want to call it that, a, yeah. a fence, a, people put fences around their houses. That's, That's not true. a prison. No, no, no. Well, you you said a really big fence. So I'm thinking you, like you a, said that the imagery I got was a like tall fence, bar- barbed wire. You don't need an armed guard if the, the gate is closed. I mean, the reason why I need to be big though is because you'd want to make sure that if there were a fire or something like that, that they the could, kids could get, get out of the school and wait outside. But you need a fence that's big enough or tall enough so that people can just climb over it right. and go to your doors or but whatever. So we'd also need a barbed. I mean, and, and, then, so, when, so then you, you don't would need have to, be to go. To, it's, just be, it's just be tall. Like I mean, you'd have to go to, through security to get to to get your child. To go through Not necessarily, the but you have to just come through the gate. But you know what? I'm gonna be real with you. Our culture, our American culture, is fucked up. It we're really not gonna is. argue there. It really is. We're we're over sexualized. There's there's way too much violence in in almost everything that we watch. And these are like these problems that we're having in society are byproducts of that. Yeah. I agree with I that. I think, it, honestly, if you really want to do away with a lot of this shit, we got to change the culture, and, and the culture is going to start with the kids. I don't know how to change the culture, though. And I, my That's thing why is the that kids there's, are the future. Too, yeah. I, don't, I don't know Care how to, we, can, we can have people. And this is a much bigger problem than, we're, than we realize. Yeah. And I think most people are undiagnosed, walking around with mental issues and mental health problems that people have no clue about. And so when that shows up, when a child, I mean, obviously around the age of 18 is when if you, if you, if you're born with a mental illness, a lot of times that when you mature into an adult, that transitionary period is when that becomes something that you start to deal with in a different way. When children are small, a lot of times people don't realize it and they don't get their child evaluated because they don't, you know, we, we just don't see that, see the signs. Mm -hmm. So I think that, that's one of the biggest problems that we have in our in our society now that we have no we have no answers for. There oh, are so it's not single mothers. 
there are people. I was I was driving downtown Atlanta and just the number of homeless people on the street. On Juniper, Corlin. <laughs> Anywhere. Any, no, there's, any, a, there's like yeah. a, there's a yeah. homeless park. Even on, over on by yeah. like Five Points and Moreland, it's just it, it, the, out at night because it was cold, just with blankets, you know, outside. And you, and you think about these people, a lot of them have severe mental issues. A lot of them could, you know, at, at any moment can do something to harm someone. And it's because we don't have adequate, we do not have answers for people that don't, that, that, that have issues like that. We just, we have no clue what to do with them. So they put them in jail. If they walk, like I remember I was pumping gas one night and this guy walks up on me and it's, you know, scared me. I'm a female. I didn't have a gun and he walked up on me and I, I didn't feel safe. And so, you I know, shot him. no, another guy <laughs> came out and was like, get on, get on, get on. But that could have easily went bad, right? You know, he wanted something. He was very aggressive, but it's because he's not, Okay, and I think our I think our government we just especially the way we have insurance issues we just don't we're not equipped to deal with the mental health issues that we have. Well, in mental this health is such a blurry line. I mean, I mean, somebody that's actually crazy, and then someone that is sad and angry I knew, I with forgot nobody about to talk that. to. I forgot about the sad. <laughs> yes. Or 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 hold on, take a take another step back because that's a step back. But take another step back. You have the person that that says, you know what I should do? I should go work forty hours of my week for the rest of my life to pay for a house that I that's too expensive for me and pay off these credit cards, my student loan that mm. I'm in debt up to my my gills in. And that's that sounds insane too. That you would waste your entire life working for somebody else's dream. Oh, you know what? I, I wanted to I wanted to say this too because yeah, the 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 walk out movement versus the walk up movement. <laughs> that that part, I don't know what that is. What's walk up? Okay, all right. So walk out was all the students that were walking out of schools and that like the march for our lives, so on right. and so forth. They're protesting gun violence by walking out. Right. Mm -hmm. The walk up campaign is we're saying that it's your fault student that crazy person went and got a gun and shot everybody up because you didn't so, tell anybody right be no not because you didn't tell anybody but because you were mean to him and you bullied and you laughed at that person so you should walk up to them and become a friend <laughs> right okay which i i don't know become i feel like friend. that's I, I so that's the the walk up <laughs> versus the walk out Right, those perspectives, and I feel like the walk up to them and be them. That's kind of uh, it's scary. Not it's work. like victim blaming. Well, I no, I do think there's some mean little kids who need their behind beat for picking on other kids, but they're they you know a lot of those kids at that point have been socialized to believe that they're different, and they don't they're not open to being friends with. Right. They don't want to be bothered. Like they want you to. They hate everything you stand for at that point. You're the popular cheerleader. Stay away from me. They don't want you. To yeah, walk you're gonna up get killed first friends. if you yeah. walk up. Man, crazy right. as fuck. Was your uh, was your school very like don't sit with me type of my school was like very, very socialized? And, it was and, very like, segregated. segregated. Like if you're popular, you sit here. If you that that, that like most high schools, I think high yeah. schools are like real life. Like people are we people hang out with like people and. Other people feel bad if they're not a part of that clique. I'm not walking up, man. I want I'm the, not walking up. I either. want this killing spree to be random than a motherfucker. I don't want him pinpointing me because like that it's that jock that it's that drum major <laughs> that kept trying to talk right, to like, me. I, every time I close my eyes, I see his face. He walked up on me too. Fuck, yeah. just make this motherfucker random. He ain't get shot. He ain't get shot. <laughs> it, it ain't that random though. The kids always know exactly who the fuck gonna do it. No, I'm saying who gets who shot. Get, who they come after. It's the people that they that they that that are hey, the bane you know of their if, existence. You know if you on that kids kill list or not. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, it is, man. Well, this is a somber note. No. Oh. It's a somber note. But I think know, nothing should change. Yeah, somber for what? I'm living. You are living. And hey, Pars will have sex with you for a hundred and thirty thousand. That's the going no, no, rate no, no, for no, porn no, pussy. No, it's possible. One. What was it? One forty. One forty. I think that it's gone. One forty. I need to check my stocks, but I, I think pussy is gone down. It's at, not at professional least, women. Those are not professional sex workers. I don't. What? Who cares if she's a professional sex worker? She got a pussy because because she's professional. Enough. No, because that's the idea that I actually had it with a professional. I fantasized about this particular woman. Nobody gets wait. Wait. I think I think I saw something recently that said if you get fine, you can get fined for masturbating. A hundred dollars. You can get fined. Masturbating where at home? I, I don't know. I gotta you. find the article. I'll, Who I'll catches post you? it on. Right. Yeah, I don't know, but. Alrighty then. So that okay. means pussy is worth at least a hundred and one dollars. No, I'll give it one forty. Nobody wants to know under a hundred dollar pussy. If somebody said ninety nine dollars, I was like, nah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting on that one thirty nine ninety nine. No, no, thank you, ma'am. Ninety nine on a discount. No, thank you, ma'am. Uh, all right, well, uh, yes, I learned. So I don't think much. I offended anybody today. No, you didn't. You were actually really good. Nah, I'm gonna go back and listen to some really? shit. You might have... <laughs> no, he did good. I'm proud of be honest. He did good. He did. Good. This was a good. This came back. We re- rebounded from last week. We did. I did. I, I like last week. Go figure. Yeah. Well. We'll be, right. <laughs> we'll be able to keep people watching with today's show. Thank you. Subscribe, <laughs> like, share, and some other shit like that. <laughs> I'm a gift.